And your fathers used to uh, apprentice you as a waterman or a lighterman years ago. And that's what we all started off as, waterman, lighterman, journeyman. Then we become tug skippers, mates. And then of course the industry was, was taken over by, I would say, containerisation. And a lot more went on lorries. A lot more went on lorries and uh, the river went dead. This river must be the deadest river in Europe, I should think. If you were to go to Holland and see the way they work their, their rivers there, it's much different than what it is here. And uh, you can see the equipment we've got around us. It's all old equipment now. And they're bringing in new rules and regulations. What are not helping us? We're trying to earn a living and uh, the new rules and regulations and the charges are excessive, in my opinion, now. Apprentices today are not apprentices like we were. If we walked across the road with our hands in their pocket, our masters would give us a clip because you don't walk about barges with your hands in your pocket, so you've got to get used to that idea. We used to row barges. They don't row barges no more. You have to go to school. Why do we want to go to school? You learn your work out here. Yeah, I was out here for years. I know where every brick and every lump in the river is without being told by the PLA. And you get some retired captain of the ship coming down telling me what I should do. That's what annoys you. But when it comes to handling tugs and barges in, in funny situations, in dirty, foggy, wet weather, it's a different old ball game. You know? We don't have women on board our boats like they've got, and you don't have to parade with all your aftershaves on there. That's all it is to me. It's a show. It's a shame because it's a lovely river and it should be work, used a lot more. Right? And he's up on the rules and regulations. You don't want some idiot who's never been on the river, probably been on a super tank around the world somewhere, telling us what we should do here. We lived and died here. Know what I mean? It's like somebody from self running Selfridges comes, goes down the market and tells the market store bloke how to do his business. That sort of thing.